yeah, starting out game one here on Three, Town and City. Two, one, go! Right, Town sees the play. And, uh, mind me asking if you saw who Daybreak lost to to be the losers? Uh, I don't remember. Okay. Well, you guys, if you're just tuning in, uh, JW actually lost to Mr. R in a tight game five scenario to be here. So he wants redemption. Oh. Yeah, and JW looking hungry so far. Just got hit for the first time about 20 seconds in. Oh, calls out the air dodge. But he's going to get the full hit of the up smash. All right, yeah. Wolf flashing. Or Storm Wolf, rather, actually. All right. Oh, now it's FD mode, and Daybreak hitting a little bit of a combo going. Okay. Oh, oh, F smash getting shielded. Okay. Oh, narrowly misses the forward air. It's great for Daybreak. He actually has some momentum coming to his. Oh, floor. and there's the pop up, finding that down tilt opening, finding the aerial to follow up and get that first stock. Yeah, as I say it, you know, Daybreak actually goes for the rogue side B, and you know I've seen that work. It's not great. It's not the dumbest option in the world. It actually works. It catches people jumping. Yep. Since you can change the angle of side B, you can actually catch people low to the ground as well. Although, uh, JW obviously has the option to just stick real low in his crouch animation, though. Yeah, that's Often true. not what you're going to be, uh, expecting to be throwing out, trying to maneuver around side B. Up oh. smash, getting that scoop, killing at 150-ish. And that's the thing about Greninja, that's probably a reason why a lot of people don't play Greninja, is the fact that his out-of-shield game is not that great. It leaves, it leaves something to be desired, right? Uh, he doesn't have a lot of options to do anything out-of-shield. Not grab, not F-tilt, uh, not really down-tilt either. Like, it's not that great comparison to other top teams. Yeah. So in that scenario, he tried to punish the up-smash with an F-tilt. Nah, no, ill-advised. He just got stuffed. Alright. Oh, finds the pop-up, but Daybreak using the air dodge well to find his way back down. JW trying to play around the lasers, but gets clipped by one of them. And All these right. lasers rack up about 10% on stale, so... Ooh, almost catches a hit by that up smash, but thank god for uh, that shot. Up so, smash again! Wow, alright! Daybreak making great work out of it. Four throw. Now with a bit of a lead here onto JW. Ooh, definitely calls out the jump, but not enough. Yeah, trying to go for the grab. Not the greatest uh, in terms of the end lag. Person, so many other characters in this game. Great parry by Daybreak. Oh, pops him up again, but the air dodge was there in time, and now Daybreak looking like he's running away with game one. Okay. JW just unable to find these kills. Getting a little too hyphy and oh. getting popped up. Pixels away from getting hit from that F smash and ending this entire game. Finds another grab, goes for the forward throw, and laser not connecting. Waits out the counter. All right. I don't know if that. Oh, there oh. we go. F smash. Again, I didn't know if down tilt up smash was still, but he could have done down tilt the forward air, but you know, he just gets to hit over there. And honestly, it's still possible. Back throw is not going to kill. That's why he goes for a forward throw. Up tilt! Oh, the range! Ugh, yeah. It hurts every time I see it. The range on up tilt is it's, it's pure insanity. <laughs> it's pure insanity, and it kills. It's like Snake. Yeah, it's like Snake, but, you know, it's a little bit of a high kick. You know, it's like, well, yeah. actually, no, 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 no. Snake does, he put he puts way more work than me. <laughs> it's like a straight and narrow, you know what I mean? Oh. But, uh, you know, Wolf's definitely doing his best Snake impression. And, hey, he's doing a good job at that. Daybreak, though, playing really well. I feel the pace was in JW's corner for a little bit. Yeah, he definitely came out of the gate swinging there, but yeah. it just seemed like he was having a harder time connecting these kills. Uh, Daybreak with good callouts, getting those up smash kills fairly early on, and yeah. just kind of getting momentum off of that. And then JW seeming like he was never able to bring the momentum back in his favor, but running it back to the same stage, we'll see if it's the same story. All right, Town and City, still the play. I guess, yeah, really, JW was playing well. Just the pace was in uh, JW's corner. Okay. Town smash, so threatening, a ledge. Keeps doing it. Soon to be punished, probably. Yep. Yeah, almost dies oh, for it. Wow. Oh, and he finds it. Oh, and the taunt, too, by Daybreak. Again, this is the run back from Frostbite. Yeah, he JW, didn't even do the howl of them. <laughs> JW actually beat the Daybreak in losers, eliminating him. So Ooh. this is something, this is great for Daybreak. You know, he's feeling himself. He's saying, I got better at the game, so have you, but I'm doing well. I'm in the lead right now. It's a, it's a morality boost, right? That can take him to the top eight, potentially. Yeah, and Daybreak looking fire right now in this game, already lapping him. Oh, but the resets, dragging him 
Drain him down again, but air dodging before the follow up's ready. Okay, Daybreak actually buffers a jab. I don't know if he actually oh. wanted that. He actually suffers because of that and he gets his by S match. JW looking like he is not ready to give this game up without a fight after that stock. Yeah. Oh, look at the smash attacks. Ugh. When you're on ledge, you just life alert, man. And that's a classic setup. Good thing he jumped out of the way. Up airs. Okay, but the air dodge away from the aerial. That's something uh, Daybreak has done very well this game is just playing around what JW is going for and air dodging through what his aerial follow ups are. And then right. using that added weight of Wolf to uh, just retreat back to the ground fast. A lot of full hopping neutral right now by JW. He does not want to get ca caught at all by these up smashes. But the F tilt! Wow! Daybreak. Daybreak. Daybreak is actually looking so good. I can clearly see the level up right now. Right, he just seems to be there. knowing the right option. Oh. Wow! That was oh. all off of a parry! Oh my god! That was all off of a parry. And look, JW knows! Mentality break? Perhaps. Perhaps. Like, what do, you, what do you do with that option? Not throw moves at him? No, uh, yeah. like he parried you and then killed you off of it. From, like, middle of the stage on the platform. He was just trying to do his job. He got punished for it. Daybreak looking like a killer right now. And that's what people like to see at a Smash Ultimate. People feel like Perry's not that great, not great at the option. What they really want to see is actual huge punishes and strings coming out of Perry's that result. And kills. there you go. Perry to forward air, forward air, forward air, down air. Yeah. And then down Smash 2 frame of Matt Ledge. Damn. All right. Game 3, JW is behind. But same thing with Mr. R, right? Mr. R, he, was, he, he, he actually had the adaption on point. He had a find, he found a way to bring himself back into a more, you know, com you know, even matchup. Let's see if we can do the same against Daybreak, right? So maybe bring this to game five. Yeah, JW showing that at least in winner side, his mentality won't break after going down to oh, Let's see if he's got the same strength in losers. So oh. far looking like it as he's coming out game one with a solid first stock here. I like the pre, I wasn't even Truly preemptive, the side beat, the escape down smash. It's like he knew. He's been playing JW so long that he understands what he's looking for, right? But can you do the same thing here? No. <gasps> Daybreak just a little bit too low. Close, but no cigar. And that's what that's just the life of Wolf you have to understand. And he knows. And I mean, hey, that makes um, JW's life a lot easier. He's been having most of the trouble in this matchup getting the kill. Yeah, now so. we see JW on the defensive in terms of I have the lead come to me. And he got hit by four with like three or four bears simply because Daybreak wants to find a way in. And that's the first time he's been hit the stock of uh, Daybreaks. Right. Oh, great answer to the F smash. Weaves through it easily with that nair. Oh, uh, beautiful and, spacing by Daybreak, covering the option he knew JW was going for. Great idea. F tilt, not gonna kill, but setting up for an edge guard. Takes his jump with the laser, but up smash, reading the standard get up. Yeah, so many standard get ups from JW to where it's kind of telegraphed uh, to J uh, Daybreak, man. Okay. No oh. huge punish, but okay. I feel like he did it because he know he knows that smash would have killed, wouldn't have killed there. <gasps> Just the timing a little bit off on covering that tech. Oh man, Daybreak slowly brings this back. Okay. Ooh, that bear. And he just can't seem to find the kill. He actually almost did with the down tilt, the up smash, but the platform got in his way. Now full hopping in neutral a lot. Really doesn't want to get hit at all. We have an even game so far right now. Laser yeah, just the moment. It just seems like the moment uh, Daybreak gets in kill percent, JW gets so hungry, and that's when Daybreak's at his best. Yeah. Nah, too high of a percent. I was smashed out of shield. This is looking like a wrap so far. I feel like Daybreak is playing with oh. so much wow. confidence. That was a call out, but JW answering with a call out of his own, getting that F smash kill. Hopefully that can be big for his mentality here as he's trying to stay in it, trying to fight for top eight, trying to keep the combo going and showing why sneak. he made it to here. Okay, no shout sneak. He's giving a lot of respect to Daybreak. He really wants to bring this back. But and sooner or later we're going to see More him. or less has at this point now, has the lead again. JW here looking for the kill, oh and he God. will find it. Are we watching Day JW versus Mr. R? Are we in the same? <laughs> Are we time warped? It's because just 
Battlefield is the new PS2. Because Game 3, JW versus Mr. R, it looked like a wash. Mr. R was going ham. He was destroying them every situation. But all of a sudden, JW comes out of nowhere, right? Yep. Starts starts coming back, starts playing fire, starts... And the same scenario here against Daybreak. Yeah. Now you got to break out of your, your habits, <laughs> JW. You could have actually maybe won a game or two in the beginning. <laughs> he, he wants to go for the uh, reverse 3-0, man. He's, yeah, he's, he's all about guy. the sweep. He's all about the sweep. But can he actually do that? He he almost had it against Mr. R. I don't know if it will be now we the have, same thing to a T comparison. And now we have two counter picks coming out back to back potentially from Daybreak. Okay, no ca no no FD most likely. You know you don't want to take Greninja to FD. Um, going back to Battlefield. You know it was working from. Yep, it was working from. And again, in this tournament format, we do have three bands and no DSR. So we are fine to run it back to Battlefield as long as it hasn't been banned. So that means Yoshi's Island, Yoshi's Story, Lilac, a lot of, uh, yep. a lot of stages, uh, the stages. Those are the that, ones that uh, people ban. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I didn't want to bring that up, but it's a fact. There's right. actually uh, some pretty interesting statistical evidence about it, I believe, from Practical Tasks. Yeah, and from Genesis, right? Yeah. yeah. Either way, game four. And it's looking like the last couple of games, you know, Daybreak just doing super well. Just rack up early damage, set a, a pace for himself yeah. where he can just stick to that pace, stick to that rhythm, and JW can't make a comeback. Oh, but wow, JW picking a very scary option there, going right in front of a down smashing wolf, but finds his way in. That up uh, till, wow, that was great. And this is how he made that comeback last game. He had a lot of great anti air back airs, and he's actually incorporating now up tilts in his gameplay that he hasn't done in the previous games. That's great. If he actually uh, take a note from uh, uh, Daybreak, <gasps> he survives. When it comes to his up smashes and any anti-air, like he can actually get ma major kills. Right now, I feel like he's been sticking... Pops him up. Oh, and he waits for it, but he drifts far enough away from the ledge to not get hit by the follow-up. Yeah, and that weird hitbox of dash attack that just sent you straight up, he actually survives. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh! He is living, though. Oh, almost got back thrown. This first stock is super tense as both players are sitting around kill percent. All right, let's not gonna do it. Oh, <gasps> that could have been massive. All right, not I, finding the two frame. He kind of faked them out. He thought he was gonna go like a little bit across and then come back to ledge. We actually went straight up to mess up the timing for that one. The parry, but not the follow up. Jumps a little bit too high. Yeah, it seems like the parry game is all on Daybreak compared to the JW, but, but the JW. juggling game is all JW. And he finds that first kill. Let's see how Daybreak answers back. We've usually been seeing something like an up smash. Mm -hmm. Ooh, but an up air up will do air, it. Yeah, at 192, yeah. even without any rage. Okay. Uh, yeah, like we said, so many up smash, so many anti airs by Daybreak, right? Oh, here we go. The triple Greninja combo, when you say your name three times in a row. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, Pokemon, man. They, they're narcissists. What can I tell you? Oh! Oh, he was seconds off the grab. But he comes down with the laser. All right, Daybreak whiffs the grab here, but wow, that area was so clutch. Down smash, sending off stage. Saving his jump pretty well. Great timing by GW. Just... Ooh. I feel like he only got that, Daybreak only got that twice so far. Oh my Get god, smash! Get out of my zone. JW trying to make this a game five. Yeah, completely stops the short hop uh, approach by Daybreak uh, and, and just says, get out of my face. Simple as that. Oh, no back thrown. Oh no. That's the same way he actually sealed that last game. Yep. Up okay, smash. up smash. Not, gonna Not quite going to kill. Not on Battlefield without Rage. Yeah. Uh -oh. All right, makes it back, but very scary stuff here. Up smash, not going to connect, but dash attack going to... Remember I said the... Air dodge uh, through the first laser. The out of shield game is not that great with uh, yep. Greninja, so every time he up smashes, there's not a lot Greninja can really do besides whiff punish if he never got hit on shield. Yeah, we've mostly seen JW go for, like, uh, fade back fares, which yeah. are risky at Ooh. best. Oh, and Daybreak saying, whispering to the crowd, don't be yelling. I guess he doesn't want people rooting that hard. No, He's wearing no headphones, unlike JW, so that's probably why. He wants to focus. Okay, back air straight into the F-Tilt, gets straight punished. Ooh, almost beating him out. I thought he was going to go for the grab there. Tomahawk, but no. Oh, got him with the back on the platform. Oh, the up B goes down, but... <gasps> 
JW finds it. He's living. Not gonna do it. Daybreak staying in this. Finds the back oh, air. Oh, this is how it starts. All right, JW retreating the top platform, finding his way in, Ooh. and he finds the F smash. That will do it. We have ourselves a game five. JW saying, "Did you remember how you died last stock? You came straight into my loving arms and got F smashed. I did it once. I'll do it again." JW doesn't play. He really doesn't. If you're going to do the same patterns over and over and over and he's over gonna again, He's going to punish. He's going to punish. Daybreak needs to break that. He really yeah, needs to break see, that. So you asked if we were going to get a run back of Mr. <laughs> R and JW here. Hey, for JW's sake, I hope it's not a uh, run back down to a T. Yeah, because I, I was going to say at this point. Maybe an alternate ending. This is when uh, this is when the guy that won the first two games won it, right? Yeah, yeah. So, Going like, to Pokemon Stadium too. Yeah, I like I said, JD, Day, Daybreak has built some habits over time. He's adapted JW, but he got a little bit lax, right? He's stopped anti-airing with up smash, or he's yeah. doing it a little bit too late. And I believe he's, we only played on Town and City and uh, Battlefield, Battlefield so far this so set. Pokemon so Stadium. interesting to see how this goes for them. Uh, I don't know. I feel like JW actually really likes Pokemon Stadium. This could work out in his favor. But, you know, I don't know too much about Daybreak's uh, preferences and stages, so hey, go to anybody. It is his counterfeit after all. Yep, but so far JW off to a solid first stock, got a decent sized lead, but the parry punish here looking pretty solid up until that greedy down smash. Yeah, see, no, no, I, I, it, it speaks to the speed of Wolf where you can't really get punished for that down smash. But at the same time, it's really all, all you could do is dash attack. Ooh, dead. That substitute was nutty. Fact is, he didn't substitute at all till uh, like I think he only did it once or twice. He's bringing out the big guns for the final game. Right. Yeah, JW showing he's a master of his craft, knowing how to use all the tools in his bag here, using that substitute. Strike down. Oh, no tech. Jab resets. Two in a row in a down smash, not finding the kill. Oh, quite yet. no. Oh, my God. Why is he not covering? Jeez, JW is playing with so much... Hard. He's playing so well. I mean, it's just crazy. He's running over him. Oh, drag I have down? another drag down, but he saved his jump still. Missing the tech. Popping him up oh, into another up air. Air lap. dodges through that, but keeping it going. All right, Daybreak trying to regain a little bit of momentum. Oh, no. Can't quite do it, though. The Nair connecting. Okay, then finally a punish. A hit for Daybreak. <gasps> he waits, but Daybreak lands behind and punishes with an F smash of his own. And this is for everything here for JW, trying to get into top eight. Okay, up air. Can one you get another one? one? Do it! And that's it! Dying Goodbye. off the top. JW, game five, reverse First sweep. 3 0, reverse sweep. Ooh. Look at the VODs! Look at the VODs against Mr. R, man. Alternate ending? 